Quick, quick question about the market for running backs. Do you think maybe you know in the next collective bargaining or something that that the union and the owners can come together and find a, something that works out better for running backs? Because it seems like a lot of guys are just not being paid at the value that they need to be paid. I don't know, because that's going to be in 10 years. And to be honest, I love the game a lot, but I don't see myself being a football field in 10 years. But what I will say about the running back market and the value of it, um, what do you think is going to happen? You know, they tagged the top three guys. We didn't get a chance to hit the open market. So when we don't get a chance to hit the open market, it hurts a guy like Miles. It hurts all those other guys. Um, they put the cap at 10. And then when they have the tag, they have all the leverage. And that's the reality of it. But there is a, bit, there is a personal side of it, too. Um, there's a human side of it, too. And going off back to the question what Kim said, how I felt like that, their dimension, what I've done since 2018, I'm not saying that, but everyone will talk about the running back market and this and that and the third. Every team is different. Like, everyone, there's a, there's a thing that goes up, and I think you mentioned it before, about, oh, quarterbacks in the Super Bowl and how many rushing yards, the top rusher. But every team is not, like, every team, Pat Mahomes is a two-time Super Bowl MVP, two-time MVP. And, like, this is, not everybody have Pat Mahomes, and this is no not to Daniel Jones, so don't even try to flip like that. And then you look at the Eagles who play. Jalen Hurts, a great quarterback. That team is amazing, but every team is not the Eagles. Every team don't have that much talent. And when you come to my situation, come to me personally, I feel like that I helped our team a lot. I feel like not only on the field, but off the field. I feel like as a leader, um, I feel like obviously there's a conversation of my numbers going down. I think there's a whole lot of other stuff that happened to play as the NFL. You know? We were a one-dimensional team in the beginning of the season. Um, we were running the ball. Uh, we have a great coach. Uh, we played Detroit Lions. They came in, bust that ass, stopped me. Uh, we, had to, we had to switch it up. And we have a great coach with Days and with Cav. And we had a whole new game plan. We came out and found a way to get the job done and make it to the playoffs. But going to the running back market, when you talk about the running back, no, I don't agree with that. I think that it's not fair because I don't think Tennessee Titans, Tennessee Titans is a great team, but Derrick Henry's one of those guys on those teams. St. Fran is a great team, but Christian McCaffrey's one of those guys on the team. Josh Jacobs, the list go on and on. And I think when you talk about the New York Giants, um, you know, I think even Pierce came on and said it. Uh, I, I have a lot of respect in this league, and I think that's how it should be viewed.